Okay, uh, where do we start? It's quite hard for me to find an angle of attack on how to get this started, but I guess the best place would be where we left off. The last vlog was February time, start of Feb, end of January, mid Jan, something like that. I stopped training for Christmas about mid December. There's a, I put an Instagram up and it's me sort of just pouring a glass of wine and I'm pretty sure that marks, that for me marked training being finished for Christmas. Um, and the break, was, the Christmas break was a lot longer than I expected, uh, a lot longer than it should have been um, because, well, you know how Christmas is, um, there's lots going on, lots of uh, old faces come back and there's lots to eat and drink and um, yeah, it took me a while to get to snap out of that sort of phase and then you're in January. So I had some catching up to do, as always, uh, but I got back into the swing of things. I was a little bit behind, but I got back into the swing of things and me and George were really sort of chugging on into that second block of winter training. We were really investing the time and building the foundation for a good summer of racing. And then... So here's my, um, here's my two cents on everything that happened, uh, how it affected us, and just, just some thoughts. Everything got cancelled. Like, actually everything. Um, which is weird, because when, you, when you're rowing, you put a lot of plans, there's a lot of things you can't quite make. Uh, there's a lot of events you can't go to with your friends and stuff like that. Um, so when everything, when all the rowing got cancelled, I thought, oh, oh, I can, you know, I can do the other things. I can go to events and parties and stuff like that. Um, but no, like actually everything gets cancelled. So, so you can't do anything or anything you had planned anyway. That was, that <laughs> took a while to comprehend, uh, especially for the rowing, um, because it's hard to sort of process that having already put in all that time, you, it just stops like that. Uh, oh. I've, been, I've been doing this sort of project for a few years now, the rowing for this club, it's obviously a small club, and I was doing it so that well, me and George were doing it, so we sort of had control and take responsibility for our own uh, training program. And um, and we've learned plenty over the over the years, just, uh, the ins and outs of how to do this on your own. And big part of that is is putting the time in to achieving success in the summer. And it was going to be the first season where. As I've explained in other vlogs, it's the first season where we'd really cracked on and done a full um, course of winter training. Um, and it was going to be the first season where, it was going to be the first full season where we'd really find out what our potential was, if, we could, if we'd hit our potential, and to really see how fast we could go. And we're not going to find that out because this is my last season. Um, hopefully in the summer I'll be moving to London. Um, I'll talk a bit about that later on, but um, so this this is it really with regards to rowing uh, in Chester and this whole sort of section of the vlogs. Uh, this is the the <laughs> the end. That's a strange feeling, but I guess that's a that's a, a list of reasons as to why it's upsetting and it's bad. But here's a list of reasons as to why I'm not going to let any of that affect me and why we should all be looking forward. Firstly, if I'm really looking for silver linings, not having training every day, it's been nice. Um, or nice for a little while anyway, I'm definitely starting to get bored now. For me, being boxed in and locked away inside isn't nice, but also it's, it's sort of where creativity is at its peak. This is where creativity sort of thrives and it really gets me thinking as to A, what I've been taking for granted 
and B, what I want to be doing when all this is over and any chances that you've missed in the past, how to really sort of execute on them in the future when, you know, when we've got our freedoms back. The whole thing was a privilege anyway. Um, getting to run your own sort of rowing program um, for a small club and you know, for the first time going to Henley. All of that was just a, a privilege. Um, I don't take any, any of that for granted. Not everyone gets that sort of, the sort of chance to do that. And, and that's the way I wanted to do it as well. Uh, if I wanted to join a club, I would have done that. I would have joined a local club, but uh, this is the, ones, the way I wanted it to go. And for the most part, it did. It all sort of went to plan. I've taken an amazing amount of learning away from this whole section of my life really so i would just put things into perspective for myself and um really just look forward um really i would compare it to if you've ever been injured and <clears throat> you've been sat out on the sidelines this in this instance it just so happens that everyone's taking a hit there is no fear of missing out because we've not missed out on anything we're all in the same boat ish so that's my hot take on everything that's happened. So yeah, I'm hoping to move down to London um, in the summer, sort of the, the back end of the summer. <clears throat> and, um, and I could uh, carry on rowing down there for a club, back to normal training, a coach, a team, regular uh, times, regular training, which would be uh, really exciting. Um, I'm not sure about the vlogs, uh, how it would work, but um, the prospect of carrying on is quite exciting. But it's not confirmed. But importantly, um, there's just there is a lot to look forward to. Just get this out of the way with. Um, I've got some videos coming out these next few weeks. Uh, so there is actually a video next Sunday, and then hopefully the Sunday after. And then, yeah. Just. Um, Keep your eyes up, stay safe. Fun, funnily, funnily,